Hi everyone, in today's video we've got something special and here's a word from my friend Jojo. Hi everyone, welcome to the AIR channel and in this video we're going to teach you how to generate videos just like that. As you guessed it, I'm not really Joe Rogan and it's not really me saying those words but let's not waste any more time and see how to do it for yourself. It's not really Joe Rogan, but this is exactly what we're going to see in this video. We're going to see how to take a video and an audio and to stitch them together to generate a fictional or a virtual video. Let's take a look. So we'll start by going to the GitHub page of the project and here beside the source code of the project, you can see some explanations about the technicality of the service and how it works. In a nutshell, it takes the frames of the video, it then crops the face of the image that is talking, and it tries to generate a new, more matching expressions of the face to match the audio that was provided. So if you have uh, audio that sounds happy, it will try to change the facial feature of the image to show a bit more happiness. After that step, it will take only the lips of the of the face and it will generate new lips based on the provided audio. Lip syncing net network in a very simplistic way works by generating matching shapes of the mouth based on the sounds. In general, this is what the network tried to generate, new lips shape based on the provided audio. And then it stitches everything back to generate the new output video. If your video is, for example, three, three seconds and the provided audio will be 10 seconds, it will literally tile it up. It will generate a loop of the video. So when choosing a video, it is important to make sure that you have some kind of a loopability in the, in the frames. Uh, if not, you will see a bit of a glitch when it starts the next video. Uh, another solution is to try and choose a video that is in about the same length as the audio, but of course the bigger the video and the bigger the audio, the more time it consumes, and if it's too big it can actually fail and not render the video. But uh, let's not drill too much into the technicality, let's see how it works. In their page they provide a demo on a site called Replicate, you can do one or two renders, maybe five sometimes. I guess it depends on the load of the service. Uh, it looks like this. It provides you with a simple user interface. You can upload a face file and you can upload an audio file. I already exhausted my free trials and I'm not going to subscribe to it because besides the, de the replicate demo, they also provide us a Google Collab and we love Google Collab. So we're going to open Google Collab and let's start the script by, it's very simple, so we'll just start by running the first cell. On the first time you run it, it might take a few minutes uh, because it needs to install a lot of information that relates to the, to the packages required. So we will just click play and let it run and I will be back once it's done. And of course, if you don't have a, a, an account for Google Collab, just create a new account. It takes a minute or two. And once you click play, it will give you this warning that it was not authored by Google and are you sure you're going to trust it? I trust it and I click the run anyway. And once I run it, it will start all the process of installing the required files. So let's give it a few minutes and I will be back in a jiffy. While running this collab, I found an error in the collab. So I generated a copy of the collab netbook so you don't have to deal with this error. So in the description, of course, I will add the link to the Google collab that I generated, but it is basically the original collab with this one fix of the missing package. Uh, so you can either use it or use the original one and fix it for yourself. So instead of using the link from the GitHub page, simply use the link from the description. If after running the first sale, you encounter this pop-up saying that you need to restart session, it's okay. Click the restart session. It needs to reload something into memory and then just click once again, play on the first sale. This time, instead of taking minutes, it will take only a few seconds because most of the packages are already installed and you just need to update one or two packages. So now after the first sale is done, basically everything that we need is installed. And now we need to run the second cell that downloads the models that are used in order to render the videos. So let's just click play on this second cell. And once again, it will take a few minutes. So we'll 
be back just right after it finish running. And once it's done with downloading all the required modules, we can simply scroll down. What I usually like to do, by the way, is just once a sale is done, you can see a green check, uh, check mark here. I just clean up the output so everything will be clear on the screen. I don't like seeing all this uh, mess. And right here, click show code. We can click this third cell. Don't miss it out. It, it's, it, it's called inference. And what it does, it imports all the required information and it's tell, it tells the code to use two folders as a location where the files are. If you click here on the folder icon, it will open up all the files that were set up in this project. And in here, you can see a video retalking folder and inside the video retalking folder, you will have a folder called examples. In examples, you have two folders. One is for audio and one is for face. Face is the video reference that you're using in order to generate the human talk, animation. And audio is the wave file that you generate in order to have the audio attached to the video. You can see here in the code that it looks for MP4 files in the face folder and it looks for any audio file in the audio folder. Although I recommend you using WAV, it's faster and we are sure that it will accept the file without any issues. So if you want to use your own files, simply take the files you want to use. We will, I will show you how I do it later and just drag the audio file onto this folder and the face file into this face folder. After you've done that, you can close this view of the folders and we'll just clip, uh, click play on the cell of the inference and you'll see here down below the cell that it gives you two select boxes. On the first one, you will choose the video file. For our example, we will choose number one and you will choose an audio. Here we will choose number two. And this is required to run again in case you are adding files after you run this cell. So now if I add files, it will not automatically show here. I will have to click play one more time for it to uh, refresh the list. You can see that it runs really for, for a second or two. So it's not something complicated that you need to wait a long time for it to happen. And so, as we said, we chose, chose the second video and the second audio or the first video and the second audio. It doesn't really matter. And here on the visual as the input video and audio, simply clicking play will show you the selected references that you've chosen. It will take a second or two and it will generate uh, video uh, representation and an audio player. You can just see the selection that you've selected. This is the MP4 like file that we've chosen. And this is the audio file that we're going to stitch to it. You that while Europe has responded to a major challenge, it is not out of the... Okay, so the next step is to simply click here. And what this cell does, it runs the inference script that executes the process of generating the video. It takes a few minutes, so we'll just click the play and let it run and I will be back once it is done. And after a few minutes, once it's done running, you can see in the, in the output here of this cell, you can see all the information of all the steps that it generated. So this is the landmark detection where it finds the, the face and the face detections and so on and so forth until the last row it says that it generated the output file under the results output. So once again, if we'll click here on the folder on the left side, under video retalking, you will see here that you have a folder called results and here there, in there you will have the file called output.mp4. The last cell called visualize the output video, once clicking the play, it will give us the preview or the final result uh, of the video and there we can simply click the play button to hear the video and see if we like it and if we like it, we can just click here on the three buttons and click the download. Now let's click play and see how it looks. You that while Europe has responded to a major challenge, it is not out of the... So just as a reference, here you have both the original and the, uh, the result one playing together. You that while Europe has responded to a major challenge, it is not out of the... So you can see it regenerated the lips and they seem to match the text or match the speak very nice. 
But now let's try uploading our own video file and our own sound file. Okay, so what I created is two files. We need one file for the video and one file for the audio. Uh, the audio is rather simple. I simply um, recorded it using Audacity and this is, Audacity. this is a free audio editor. You can simply download it and use it. It's just as easy as clicking record. And once you record, you go to file, export audio and simply export the file. I'm exporting as a WAV, W-A-V format with a 44100 um, hertz. Now, as for the video, I simply downloaded a video of Joe Rogan interview. I'm not going to show you how I downloaded it from the internet, so I won't get in any trouble. Uh, but I guess you'll figure out how to download the video. What I am going to show you is I used an online tool called Online Video Cutter. So I use this service to crop and trim the video. I just upload the video and then I will simply find a few seconds of Joe Rogan speaking in our case and it's going to be very 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 short it's supposed to be only a few seconds long and here it's and you can click here to play it gives you the, an opportunity that to grow. really it gives you an opportunity to express yourself trim the pressure. correct section show your character and show we're going you are. and we're going to use the crop area like so in order to crop just the area that we want to include in the video. In our case, it's this section. And then we'll simply click the save. Once you click the save one more time, it will download the video. And now that I have all the files that I need, I'm going to get back to the collab and I will open here the folder and under the video retaking, as we said, uh, retalking, as we said earlier, under the examples, I will upload the audio file to the audio folder and it's as simple as dragging it from the downloads folder where I have saved my audio and my video. So to the audio, I have this audio file and it will tell you, give you a warning that you need to make sure that the files are saved elsewhere because it's not going to save the files after you close the session. And I'm going to also upload the video. This is the result that I got. It gives you an opportunity to grow gives you an opportunity to express yourself. We don't really care about the audio of the video because it's going to be completely replaced by the audio that we generated. And this is the audio that we generated. Uh, we'll see it later on on the preview. So I'm going to upload the video as well. You can see that once you drag, you'll see here the, um, the progress of the file being uploaded. It takes a few minutes or seconds depending on your internet speed. And now if we look at the folder, we will see that we have the audio that we uploaded and we have the video that we uploaded. So we'll go back to the cell before the cell here, just before the selection of the audio and the video. And we'll just click one more time on the play button. And once we click the play button, now the list will be updated. So we'll choose the Joe Rogan video and we'll choose the AI art wave file. And now we can click the visualize input video and audio just to see that indeed the files were uploaded correctly and the service can read them correctly. So we can see the video here. It gives you an opportunity. We can see it works and let it process the audio for a second. Hi everyone and welcome and to the AI art channel. It, all we have to do now is click the play and wait for it and see the final results. So the lip synthesis process is done and this means that we are very close to having the final result. You can see when it's done when there is the green check mark next to the play. And once it's done, we'll need to click the visuals, visualize the output video. And just like before, it will generate a, a view of the video that was generated in the results folder. And next to it, we will have the reference that will show us the original video and the final one. So this is the output video and the output video is in the length of the audio file. Obviously, let's see how it went. Hi everyone and welcome to the AI art channel. This is the place to be updated with everything that relates to AI, especially when it comes to graphics, videos, audio and creativity.
see you in the following videos okay so i think the result is very nice the face is a bit twisted but considering the fact that it only took a few minutes to generate and it literally uh, generated new lips to match the audio and you can see that the hi everyone and welcome the, to the ai art channel the, if you look only on the on the face the lip syncing is very good i think that if the video was as long as the audio it would have done a better result because there's a glitch here around the 13 seconds yeah and that's because the video was too short so so it starts the video again that's what i told you in the beginning that you, if you can generate uh, a loopable video it will be the best but all in all i think that the result is very nice it looks uh, i wouldn't say that it looks genuine but but it's on the on the way there once again if i just like the video i can simply click the download and that's about it i think it's scary how fast things are moving along but the potential of such a service think about creating lip syncing to foreign languages when it comes to dubbing movies and things like that of course there is an abusive power here and we need to make sure that things are not being used to harm others uh, i think that for now the technology is such that it's very easy to recognize that it is that it is not a genuine video but imagine what will happen in a few years from now i really hope you found this video valuable and you enjoyed it if so please like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video bye